Hi, it's Nicolas. First, I'm sorry for my English. It's very bad. In this uh, video, I will try to show you how to use Easy Drastic. Easy Drastic is an extension for Easy Touch 2.5. I think uh, as joystick will be really uh, at the end of November or at the beginning of December. So let's go. Uh, for this demonstration, um, I use our tone level kit package that you can buy in the asset store and I will implement a first person uh, camera controllers. Here you can see my controllers. It's just a simple axis with character controllers with a graphical representation on my camera. So how to add a joystick in the same? Easy joystick need a uh, easy touch but uh, with the menu you can do other you can do this in one action just select extension add a new joystick what what we can uh, see it's create a new easy touch game object and it's create a new joystick game object in the same view in the game view you can see the graphical representation of the easy joystick of course you can change the different texture of the representation let's go to set up our first person controller it's very simple in this video i don't explain to you all the parameters but i think it's easy to understand what each parameter do so first i just want to create a backward on a frontward a movement and a rotation it's very simple first i use direct interaction tip this is mean that the easy joystick control your game object i take my first person controller I assign it to X joystick axis ok and I want the X axis joystick to rotate around Y axis don't forget to add a speed on the X axis well for example and let's try that hole ok now let's add the forward and backward movement it's the same thing just take my controllers now I choose translate local and Z axis as it just tell us a character controller detected. Does this mean when you translate local or not? Uh, now it will use the character controller move method, not translate or position. Let's try. Oh, I forgot the speed. is fine that you can see I implement um, a joystick controller in my scene in, in, in few in few minutes uh, but that you can see my controller don't have gravity with easy joystick you can add a little gravity here
It's okay. The generic mode of EasyJustic is very useful to create prototype easy quickly. We have some fun option like a dynamic joystick. This is mean the joystick are not fixed on the screen but it will be created where the touch begin. For example, how? Oh. With this dynamic functionality, you can choose in the what is the part of the screen that permit the creation of the dynamic joystick. Okay, in the first screen, just on the left part of the screen. If I click on the right, there is nothing. I click on the left, the joystick. It's good. Of course, we can create many joysticks on the same view. Just do the same thing. Extension. Editing new joystick. I will rename it to Rotate Joystick. Yes. Oh, take my first on. Okay. Rotate Joystick. I can set my the place as a second joystick like this. You have some X on Y position. Like you can see, you can redefine the size of uh, a lot of things. Okay, now with this second joystick, I want to strafe right and strafe left. So it's very simple to do. Just affect a, a spell. I take my controllers on X axis and I want a local translate on the X axis. That's all. Oh shit. I must inverse axis. Wow. And now we can add the two joystick dynamic. For this, simple use the dynamic option, set the first joystick dynamic on the left part, select the second joystick, select dynamic option and select in the right part. When you click on the right, this is the strap joystick. And you click on the left in the move and rotate joystick. Of course, you can add many, many, many joysticks. If you want to add 10 joysticks on the same, it's possible. So, I don't explain all the functionality of easy joystick, but uh, I hope this will uh, help you to understand this new extension. Bye bye.